Hello everyone, it's me Shopper. Welcome to another Dragon Hair video. Today we have the second formation and the second transformation of Sam Master. We're gonna have a look over the skills he got now after the transformation. So he's not really a dragon anymore, it's Sam Master himself. So we will be talking as well about the part with which team I'm using to get the highest points as possible as a completely free player. Since on this team, I'm focusing more not to be using any legendaries as well. So let's start. The highest points I got with this team was 12 million. I tried different elements, but this team I use today, which is gonna be a poison team, got the highest points for today. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is to be checking his skills, the new skills. For the ultimate, he got the Draculish Frenzy. He will be dealing a necrotic damage to all enemies and detonate all his skeletons on the battlefield and the explosion gonna be dealing necrotic damage to the surrounding enemies. And here is the skill that will be on that summoning. He will be summoning four skeletons and all of them will be a necrotic damage dealers. And then we have the other skill here. This one gonna be dealing necrotic damage to the far, the forest enemy inflicting stun on them for 5 seconds and command all the skeleton on the battlefield to attack this enemy. So with his skill and the skeleton he will be focusing on the one on the back row. So it's gonna be much needed to be keeping the one on the back row to be surviving the most. So for uh, this team as well I'm using the passive he got on him which is the one here ruined so much for each debuff on Sam Master and his summoned units, they take 10% additional damage. So with this team, I'm taking advantage of this 10% additional damage. And for the team I used, I have Furpath as a tank and a healer in this team, keeping him in the front. So he's taking damage and at the same time with his ultimate, he uh, not really the ultimate, I think it's uh, his battle skill is healing as well the heroes in the range which i'm making sure with this positioning here to be having all of them on his range so everyone on the team getting healed and on the back row i have as a support a dolos to be getting shield to the team as well as here uh, two enemies within range and grant a shield to each ally for 10 seconds so he's dealing damage fire damage and giving shield to the uh, to the allies for the main damage dealers I got here, we have uh, Horus to be helping out with the part with the poison. And we have Ellie, since he's really the more main damage dealer in this formation. And then we have the, the last one gonna be Corrin. So with this team here, I'm keeping the three in the middle they are the main damage dealer in this team. And for the Captain Aura, I have selected Ellie's Captain Aura to be increasing the attack by 18%. So this one gonna be helping as well out to get more damage. And now, if you want as well, if you got Ugok, you can replace Adolos with him to be having some more healing. And you can be as well since uh, the passive for Sam Master when he uses the ultimate, he will be increasing his damage. It will be increased by 20%. So if you want, you can use Ugok instead of Adolfs and timing the ultimate for him, uh, with the ultimate of Sam Master. You use Ugok ultimate straight for Sam Master using his ultimate. So you're making sure that your team going to be surviving and getting healed after he use his ultimate. So now that's the team I used for these points to be able to get the highest points for Sam Master as a completely free player. For now, I'll be just starting challenge. It's possible that it might not reach 12 million, maybe a bit less, a bit more. It will be adjusting. It's all depending on the survivability of the team and how far you will be able to make your team survive. I made that 12 million completely on auto. I haven't using any skills manually. So 
I could have actually timed it myself and tried to get at it further, but I saw no point since we don't really get any rewards for the ranking. So that's my point on how you are able to be maximizing the reward in Sam Master and the collaboration event with Dungeon and Dragons and Dragon Hair Silent God. Make sure guys to be liking the video as well as subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my videos in the future and write to me in the comment sections if you have any other formations to be able to get even more points. I'll be reading your comments and will be more than happy to actually read it. See you all with another Dragon Hair Solid Ghost video. Till then, take care and enjoy the game.